sweater weather. Here with the tips that are going to keep your sweaters lasting all season long is Janice Meredith. <laughs> Top shape, shall we? Yes. Well, for many of us, we wear them almost every day. Mm -hmm. And so there's different fabrics. So if it's, you know, they're lighter ones, more delicate, heavier, more thicker ones. Um, so first off, what absolutely is going to happen every time is just the pilling, right? Yes. Because you've got the wear at the arms. So you want to just, that can just clean up a look easily enough. You don't have to do anything else. If you can just take care of that, yep. it'd be awesome. So we have a couple of things here. This is already so nubby, this sweater. So we yeah. don't want to get anything in there to remove that nubbiness. But um, what we're going to do is my best tip yeah. is the razor. Use the Just razor. The razor. That you're using in the shower yeah. with your legs. It can like whip up everything. It's not cutting into it. Okay. You can do it against your thigh, and you're going to get tons of stuff coming off. And it's nice and clean. Let's show them. Can this. you see All that? Of that? Just came out of that yeah. little. Uh, that little uh, demo right yeah, there. And you know okay. these aren't that expensive. We all have them. So that's yeah. my first tip for something that's really nubby. Okay. For something that's more delicate than these $10 store bought battery ones, yep. really, really work in on where it rubs. Because you're absolutely only picking up what is sticking out. You're not yeah. digging in any further. You're pressing it against your hand. Then you're going to get it's already so clean, so simple, and it's full. So use that when you've got a more smooth sweater. Yes. Okay. We don't, and delicate, because you don't want to get in and pick up any other fabrics. Okay. Then no shaming knowing what this is. Yeah, so I didn't know what that was. <laughs> okay, that's good. Lice comb. It's a lice, lice comb. comb. So okay. let's, yeah, show them a shot of that. <laughs> oh, you guys didn't know either. <laughs> so that's a lice comb, that's but you can lice use it comb. for your Sweaters. It comes in the box of the lice treatment. Okay. And then if you have, kit. you have the big pills, like these big balls. Oh, that's a good just, one. Just, this is an easy way to just get in there and pick them all off. You're not, yeah. you do have to kind of pay attention. The biggest tip I would say is don't make this a task. Yeah. Do this while you're doing something else, like the news is on so you can hear what's going on or mm -hmm. you're watching TV. That's what you're just going to do and go around and you're going to stay on top of it and then it never gets bad. Okay. Okay, all right. all right. Very good, all good tools. But now it does, we want to fold it because yeah. it does wrinkle. Right. Now steaming will actually be the perfect thing to get out some wrinkles. If you don't have a steamer and you need to iron it, what you want to do is have a cloth that's wet mm. or damp and then have a, like a mid-temperature iron and then mm -hmm. put the cloth in between as a barrier and then you can kind of press out. You're not rubbing because oh. you don't want to stretch the fabric. Yes. You're going to press out some of those creases. But if you hang it up nicely, mm -hmm. you can take control of that. Okay. So what I actually do, I don't like to fold it because of the, the weight of all of the sweaters will add to the creasing. Got it. So I'll hang mine and then I actually, like this one will be in half or if you, because I don't have the width of the hanger, yeah. or what you can do is if you have the the space you can fold it over and then you just drape everything drape the the sleeves yep this way so there I suppose go. the hanger you use is very important as well yes because you don't want to add more bumps and creases to your sweater totally. right? so and you, so what kind would you want to use so I use these ones or I use the pant hanger ones that come from the dry cleaner because they okay. also have like the little bit of the non-slip on it yeah, yeah and yeah. that works too okay all and right. so yeah then and you also line them up in color and then nothing like attaches to the other one. Now, Got sometimes it. you have to wash them. And even mm -hmm. if you just ha do happen to have a hanger crease in the shoulder from something that's been hanging on that store for too long, you yeah. can just t touch this one up. Okay. But what you're gonna do is when you wash, I do this in the bathtub. I actually put a bin in the bathtub with a little bit of baby shampoo into mm -hmm. the tub. Just a little bit because you need shampoo because you need to clean it, but then you also need it to be a little bit conditioning so that these are fibers. You want them to be soft. Right. You're really going to switch it around and then you're going to put your sweater in and you want to just kind of massage it. Like the, again, these are fibers, fibers, so you don't want to stretch anything. You don't want it to lose its shape oh. or do anything. So, and it has to be cool water. Sorry, big tip because yeah. it's fibers. We don't need to get felted, which will bring it up. So then what we're going to do is massage it. You're going to wring it out nicely. You're going to rinse it, which is why I do it in the bathtub. So I'll put, use this for all of my sweaters yeah. in the, the shampoo, pile them all up, and then just go through the rinsing cycle. Got it. A lot. Okay. So then pretend this is rinsed. Then what we're going to do is with our towel, this is the easiest way to dry it without changing its shape. Ooh. So we're just going to lay it out on our towel. Yep. 
flat dry roll it. Roll it. Oh, roll it up. Roll it to get that water oh, out. Oh, see, I would have not have known to do that. Yeah, and then we're just going to squeeze it, do that yeah. a couple of times, and then I've told you guys before, once it's ready and you have it back in shape, I drape mine over my yoga ball. <laughs> Right. And that's how I dry them because that's there's right. no, right? No creases. You something, even, yeah, you can do, there's lots of options that you can use as yeah. well to dry them. If you want to air dry it, check in on it, move the shape, open up the length, that's your time to do it. Those are all the tips for sweater weather. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much for that, Janice.